hello everyone welcome to civil go so today i am continuing the course on gs5 apsc the paper based on assam so today's topic will be biodiversity which is common to both geography and environment part so we will first see the definition of geography so you can simply quote the definition as in the convention of biological diversity 1992 biodiversity is defined as the variability among living organisms from all sources including terrestrial marine and other aquatic system of which they are a part as we all know assam is now regarded as a part of global biodiversity hotspot let us see the factors responsible for this perfect rich biodiversity assam is situated in the northeastern part of india between 24.3 degree north and 27.58 degree north latitude so the tropical monsoon climate is seen here also wet summer and dry winter is present here so average temperature of the region is about 7 degree celsius to 35 degree celsius an annual rainfall varies from 100 cm to 300 cm along with that the region lies between the transitional zone of oriental geogeographic realm and palearctic geogeographic realm so what are geogeographical realms so on the basis of presence and absence of several organisms earth can be divided into some regions so these are called geogeographic realms गए डायग्राम तो देखा दौरे आर्थ एने विभिन्न जू जोग्राफिकल रियम्स आए सो एज यू कैन सी आसाम इज लाइंग इन द ट्रांजिशन जोन विटुईन द पेलियार्टिक एंड ओरियंटल जू जोग्राफिकल रियम एंड दस प्रोवाइडिंग ए सपोर्टिव हेबिटेड टू वेरियस अर्गनिजम्स सो टूडे उल भी डिस्कसिंग द प्लान बायोडाइवर्सिटी द एनिमल बायोडाइवर्सिटी द चैलेंजेस एंड द मेजर्स टू द बायोडाइवर्सिटी so starting from the plant biodiversity i have drawn a simple map to indicate the various natural vegetations uh, geographically so that you can understand easily their positions so the first is the tropical evergreen forest so it is mostly found in southern parts of jorhat sipsagar dibrugar and tinsukia district especially in the jaipur margherita area and in small areas of himalayan foothills of dhemaji lakhimpur and sonitpur district and in the parts of north kachar and the barak valley you can pause the video and mark the position or i will be also uploading the image in the description section i have also written the geographical locations in this diagram so the habitat is characterized by tall trees climbers and lianas and low level grasses such as bush thickets that is the dense group of bushes so the tall trees comprises of holong makai makarisal halak mesua and so on this tall trees allow three lower stories for example the ground level grasses 1 to 2 meter tall bushes and 4 to 8 meter tall shrubs the next kind is the tropical semi evergreen forest so these are occurring in the himalayan foothills from chirang of btad to near jonai in dhemaji district and the southern parts of brahmaputra in jorhat golaghat and karbi anglang and the foothills surrounding the barak plain the forest also have thick undergrowth with evergreen shrubs but their trees do not reach the height of this tropical evergreen forest the common varieties in the trees are champa kadam amari canarium species magnolia species nahar and dipterocarpus etc so there are also climbers and lianas so the ground is under decomposed and leaves supports many worms and insects which in turn supports the amphibians reptilians and small mammals 
the next zone is the moist deciduous forest so this is mostly occurring in lower brahmaputra valley and the part of karbianglong and north kachar hills so map of the quarter a region to mostly spreaded hoyse over the entire region and it supports uh, reptiles birds monkeys tigers elephant barking deer deer and the undergrowth is not very thick in this region the common trees of this forest are sal teak bonsom gumari dendroclamus hamiltoni various types of palms such as tokko chewa etc and the next is the riparian vegetation the riparian vegetation is found along the banks of the most of the rivers গটিকে বিভিন্ন নৈপরিয়া ঘাঁহবোৰ ওখ ঘাঁহবোৰ ইয়াত দেখিবলৈ পোৱা যায় তাৰে ভিতৰত পৰে এলিফেন গ্রাস নল ইকৰা ৰিড কহুৱা উলু তাৰা এক্সেট্ৰা আৰু ইয়াৰ বাহিৰেও ছাউ বেগাৰী খাইৰ আদিবোৰ যথেষ্ট দেখিবলৈ পোৱা যায় আণ্ডাৰ ট্ৰিজ শিশু ভেৰাইটিজ অফ জিজি ফাষ্ট শিমুল এক্সেট্ৰা আৰু অলছ' কমন হেয়ার so this is the complete diagram for the plant biodiversity If, along with that due to variation in altitude uh, and the soil the higher parts of the barrel range above 900 meter we can see pine trees growing which is an exceptional condition apnoke a diagram to byabohar koribo pare nohole ba moi yar logote a diagram to aru লগতে হেণ্ড ৰিটেন নোটছ মই ডিস্ক্ৰিপশ্যন লিংকত পি ডি এফ ফাইল কৰি পেলাই এটাচ কৰি দিম চ' নেক্সট আমি চাম এনিমেল বায়োডাইভাৰ্চিটি আমি অলৰেডি চালো যে আসাম লাইজ বিটুইন দ্য ট্ৰানজিশ্যনেল জোন অফ অৰিয়েণ্টেল এণ্ড পেলিআৰ্কটিক জিঅ'গ্ৰাফিকেল ৰিয়াম চ' দ্য পৰ্চন অফ নৰ্থ ব্ৰহ্মপুত্ৰ ইজ অলছ' কল্ড এজ দ্য হিমালয়ান চাব ৰিজিয়ন এণ্ড দ্য চাউথ ব্ৰহ্মপুত্ৰ ইজ কল্ড এজ দ্য ইণ্ডো চাইনিজ চাব ৰিজিয়ন which both are fall under the oriental geographic realm of indian side so assam is habited to 230 different forms of species of mammals 60% of total mammalian species of india found in assam so 90% of asian one horned rhino and the entire population of pygmy hog in the world and the wild water buffalo elephant tiger leopard golden langur and hulog gibbon population is also large in assam assam witnesses a huge diversity of birds the reason can be the migrant birds from the northern asia during winter or due to the migrant route falling in assam and various abundance of habitats like jails swamps and so on the varies from fully terrestrial and swamp and aquatic birds 958 species and subspecies of birds are found in assam out of that 208 species are marine bird birds from north asia some endangered birds are vulture stork white winged wood duck swamp petrich that is the dauk so kelman agot vulture to current affair asil regarding the use of diclofenac in livestock there are 187 species of reptiles found in the state which includes uh, two species of crocodiles 21 turtles and tortoises and 46 lizards three monitors 115 snakes including the python cobra piper and water snakes the next are the amphibians in assam there are abundance of water bodies chills bills etc which support the habitat to this amphibians and the amphibian population is very high in assam like the giant and small swamp frogs house toads and prehensile jungle 
stores are the common amphibians having huge population so the next are the fish fauna so to one hokolwe fish or we have jana go to get more iman details yet they include corner however current event related to the invasive alien fishes that are found in Assam are important so the next are the invertebrates the hot and humid climate prevailing in Assam has provided this invertebrates ranging from Protozoa to Malaska a great habitat. Out of this, the members of Phyla anilida, that is the earthworm, anthropodas like bee, flea, mosquito, moth, cockroach, etc., and the molluscas like snails are supported by the habitat of a sun. So, this is the complete details about the, the animal diversity in Assam. So now we'll discuss about the problems that are occurring in the biodiversity of Assam. So Assam is facing many problems in keeping the biodiversity unaffected. The various reasons can be the rapid increase of population. There has been rise in increasing of destruction of the forest. Felling of trees for various constructional purposes, encroachment for cultivation and habitation, the slash and burn technique that is used in the shifting cul cultivation and clearing forests for construction of roads and industries, further poaching of rare animals for skin, hair, horn, bone and various purposes. Many bacterial and fungal and viral diseases affect the plants and animals that have been neglected by the government. According to a survey from 1970 to 75 and 1993 to 94, Assam lost over 3142 km square of dense forest. The percentage of dense forest in Assam came down to 19.8 as against 23.8% in 1972 to 73. let us move towards the conservation measures so the plants and animals are rich natural resources for assam thus this must be conserved for maintaining the ecological balance and national interest the conservation measures can include preventing the shifting cultivation then proposing for new protected areas and extending the existing protected areas reducing fish catching during breeding and spawning season and importantly the rare animals which are indigenous to a particular area are to be translocated to other similar areas so that for breeding purpose so here yeah, at at a current if your discussion that is about the recently pygmy hog conservation program or report at a news i say so the pygmy hawk conservation program was launched by government of assam in 1996 in collaboration with the rail wildlife conservation trust so as per the program a pygmy hawk conservation center in guwahati was established in 1996 six hawks were captured from Bansbury range of manas national park and kept them in the pygmy hawk conservation center for breeding purpose so now over a period of time many pygmy hog have been breeded in the pygmy hog conservation center and these are released in the manas national park again so this can be used as a step towards the conservation of biodiversity my current affair आरो आज इन नोट्स आरो डायग्राम्स ए गुटे किनि मय पीडीएफ एटा एके लगे अटैच कय दिसु वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन नोट जे हकले बिसाय तेम लोगे यार परा साव परे सो गोटिके आजिर कारणे इ माने आको नेक्स्ट टॉपिक लो हिम जो न्यू न्यू करंट अफेयर्स थाकिबो आरो असम रिलेटेड कुनुबाटा सिलेबस टॉपिक कंप्लीट करिम टिल देन कीप स्टडीइंग एंड आल्सो लेट मी नो इफ देयर इज एनी डाउट सो टिल देन Goodbye and thanks for watching.